Right, this is how we can test RF MOSFETs, or another MOSFET, to see if they're working or not, using a digital multimeter. So, first of all we put the multimeter into diode test mode, and then if you short the pins, you'll get a very low value, 0, 0.000 volts. Open the pins, you get overload or infinity. So what we do is, we put the black onto the source, bearing in mind anti-static procedures, wear a wrist strap or whatever you've got, or just touch earth somewhere. Um, put the black onto the source, and the red onto the drain, and you'll see that nothing happens, so the MOSFET is off. Now if we leave the black onto the source, touch the red onto the gate, and then come back to the drain, uh, we've got a very low value there. So the MOSFET's now on. Now we can turn it off by putting the red onto the source and the black onto the gate and then going back to the black on the source and the red onto the drain, it's off. Tap the gate, come back, it's on again. There it is, very low value. So that one works fine. Uh, in fact most of these work okay. Uh, that's an MRF 150, these are MRF 151s just to show exactly the same. MOSFET's off, touch it on the gate, come back, MOSFET's on, switch it off like that, and the MOSFET's off. So they're all okay. And there's a couple here that are faulty. This one here doesn't work at all. It's completely open circuit on all pins. Uh, it's off there. Try and turn it on. Still off. So it's off everywhere. So that one's no good. Um, all of these other ones test out okay. There's some SD2931-10s here. These are all fine as well. MOSFET's off. Charge the gate. MOSFET's on. Discharge the gate. MOSFET's off. Oh, hang on. Didn't discharge the gate, did I? Discharge the gate. MOSFET's off. So they all test okay. Um... There is one that's slightly faulty, this MRF150 here. Um, there it's off. We can charge the gate. And it doesn't give me a great value. It's uh, got quite a high resistance. It's on, but it's not on as it should be. Um, it still sort of works, but it's not right. We discharge it, turn it on again. It's okay. Doesn't matter how much you charge it. Um, it's just not right, there's something not right with that one. So it works, but it doesn't work. Um, all the others, all these eight here test out fine. Um, this one is a BLF 244, which, there it's off. We can charge the gate. Now this is on now, but when, we, when I put the um, test leads on, it starts turning itself off, so it must be the way this MOSFET is, the, the way it works. So if I put the leads on here, you, if you keep an eye on the dial... Oh, it's off already, hang on. If I charge it up, then put it on, it starts turning itself off. But it does work. So, you can charge the gate, check it. They are very low initially, and then it starts turning itself off. So that one does work, but it's got some different characteristics, so you have to be a bit careful. Not everyone's going to test the same, but all of this lot test um, test fine. Take any of these. Um, so I'll discharge it, that's off. Just touch the gate, turn it on. There's your low value. And then you can turn it off again. So that's how to test MOSFETs um, to see if they work or not or if they're faulty. It's not a great test, but it does give you an idea. It will tell you, for instance, if one is completely dead like this one. So, uh, yeah, I hope that's useful.